Today we're going to learn about the oceans and do some ocean activities. Hello everyone, my name is Anne Richmond. I'm the author of this book, Charisma and the Berry Boat. Today at Charisma Reader's Circle Time, it's around the world time. our circles time song first. If it's safe for you to stand up and sing it, you can stand up and sing it with me. Otherwise, you can sit down and sing it. Let's go. Hello everyone, come and join the fun. It's around the world circle time. Let's have a great time. Hello everyone, come and join the fun. It's around the world circle time. Let's have a great time. Let's look at what oceans are. Last around the world time, we looked at the continents, right? So these are the continents, the colored part. Today, we're going to look at the blue part, the oceans. So what is an ocean? An ocean is a large body of salt water. Okay, so these are oceans. There are five oceans in our world. Let's look at them. So let's learn the names of the oceans. This is Pacific Ocean. Okay, here also it's Pacific Ocean. Remember, we laid it flat so we can see both the sides. On the globe, here, this is Pacific Ocean. Look how huge it is. Pacific Ocean is the largest ocean. Okay? Pacific. Can you say Pacific? Pacific Ocean has North America and South America on one side. And on the other side, Asia and Australia. Now let's look at another ocean, which is over here, Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean has North America and South America on one side, and Africa and Europe on the other side. Atlantic Ocean. Can you say Atlantic Ocean? Atlantic Ocean. Okay. Now, that's the second largest. So Pacific first, then Atlantic Ocean. Now let's look at the third largest ocean, okay? It's Indian Ocean. It's over here, Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean touches Africa, Asia, and Australia, right? Indian Ocean, can you say Indian Ocean? Indian Ocean. The fourth largest is Antarctic Ocean. Remember, the continent is Antarctica, but the ocean is called Antarctic Ocean. Okay? It's also called the Southern Ocean. So can you say Antarctic Ocean? Antarctic Ocean. Good. Now, the smallest ocean is Arctic Ocean at the top. Okay, Arctic Ocean. Okay, let's say the names again. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean. Now at the bottom, Antarctic Ocean, right? So it's at the bottom here, Antarctic Ocean. Okay, it surrounds Antarctica. Now, Arctic Ocean, it's at the top. Arctic Ocean, it's at the top here. 
okay? Arctic. All of them are connected, right? There are no real borders, no endpoints, okay? They are all connected. Now, I'm going to show you how it's all connected, okay? Now, I'm going to start with Pacific Ocean, Arctic Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, Indian Ocean, and back at Pacific Ocean. So they are all connected. I'm going to show it with the globe as well. This time I'm going to start with Arctic Ocean, okay? So I'm going to start with Arctic Ocean, go down Atlantic Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, and here I'm back at Arctic Ocean. They're all connected. So let's sing an ocean song. There are five oceans in a world. I can name them one by one. There are five oceans in a world. I can name them one by one. Pacific Ocean is the largest one. Atlantic Ocean is the next one. Indian Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, Arctic Ocean is the smallest one. There are five oceans in a world. I can name them one by one. Now today, we're going to do the oceans. Because oceans are all connected, I'm not going to use different colors for them. I'm going to do different shades of blue because they are all water and they're connected. Pacific Ocean. Antarctic Ocean. Okay. Arctic Ocean. Atlantic Ocean. Indian Ocean, Pacific Ocean, it's the same ocean, right? Just like it was, remember? Pacific Ocean, it's the same. So, in color, it's the same color. Now I'm going to glue it on my craft. Say the oceans with me. Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Antarctic Ocean, and Arctic Ocean. I'm going to show you how you can do a colorful ocean activity. This is going to be a sky. I'm going to glue it right on top here. Now I have dark blue sheet here. I'm going to draw waves. We're going to do three of them. And cut them out. I don't need the top part, so I'm going to put that away. Now I'm going to use the light blue sheet, just like the sky, and draw waves. Again, I'm going to do three of them. At the bottom, I'm going to draw a long wavy line. Because I'm going to cut that out and it's going to be our sand at the bottom. I'm going to cut these out now. 
Again, I don't need the top part, so I'm gonna put that away. Now I'm going to glue the waves. First, I'm gonna start with the dark blue. Then light blue. Then dark blue again. Light blue. Dark blue. And the bottom part, light blue. But that's going to be the sand. Now I'm going to draw some rocks. Can be any shape you want. Just some rocks. I'm going to cut them out. I'm going to crunch some tissues so that it can look like real rocks. I'm going to use liquid glue for this so that the tissue can stick well. Stick it on top and let the tissue dry. After it's dry, cut the excess off. Now I'm going to draw some seaweed and corals. First I'm going to do a dark green one and cut it up. Now a light green one, I'm going to draw this straight and cut it up. pink coral and cut that out and some orange coral and cut that out. Now I'm going to glue all of them on the sand. You can arrange it however you want. I'm also going to do the same thing on the other side, but you don't have to do both sides. You can just leave it as is. Now I'm going to show you how you can draw a clownfish. First draw an oval shape. Now I'm going to do the tail and a line there. The line near the face and a wiggly line. I'm going to draw the eyes and mouth. Now the fins. The lines are going to be white and the rest are going to be in orange. I'm going to cut that out. There's a cut fish. Now I'm going to show you how to draw an angel fish. Draw a triangle and do an arch at the top and arch at the bottom and take the triangle lines off and you have the body there and then you extend the top part and the bottom part and draw a triangle and draw the tail and take the triangle off. Now draw some lines, eye and a mouth in the front and two fins at the bottom and color that purple and the lines are going to be yellow.
I'm going to cut the angelfish out. I'm going to glue the clownfish. And now the angelfish. There we have our colorful ocean. This is how you can do these activities at home. Let's sing a song called Fish in the Ocean. Kingfish, kingfish, swimming in the ocean. Kingfish, kingfish, where is your crown? Clownfish, clownfish, swimming in the ocean. Clownfish, clownfish, where is your nose? Angelfish, angelfish, swimming in the ocean. Angelfish, angelfish, where is your halo? Catfish, catfish, swimming in the ocean. Catfish, catfish, where are your ears? Today we learned the names of the oceans and did some ocean activities. Next week, it's music time. We'll be learning about whole notes and doing a paper plate shaker activity. Until then, goodbye everyone, I'm glad we had some fun. It's end of our circle time. See you next time. Bye everyone. New videos are posted every Monday on Charisma Reader Circle Time. First Monday of the month is music time. Second Monday is theme time. Third Monday is music time again. And fourth is around the world time. Please subscribe to follow all of them in the right sequence. Kindly like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching.